God, it's so calm. Oh, God. Hey everyone, I decided I liked this angle because I get to be really, really comfy and cozy. So I'm doing my update from this angle again today. Now before I get into the update, I, there's just something I really wanted to show you guys. <sighs> so I got this in the mail today. <clears throat> Your clever case for Kindle 3 was handcrafted using traditional bookbinding techniques at the Manor Bindery in the New Forest, England by Mo. <laughs> yeah, so this came in the mail. This isn't actually the case, but if I can get it out. Da -da -da -da. This is. How cool is it, guys? How cool is it? And on the side it says, My Kindle. I don't know if you can see from over there, but yeah. So I've got my lovely new Kindle case. Let's get this thing on. This is kind of tricky to get on. I know it's meant to be snug, but come on. Come on. I need a hope in hell of getting it on in the first place. Uh, almost, almost. <sighs> oh, God, I got it in. Okay, that's what he said. Here it is, my beautiful new Kindle case, guys. Ah, ah, da, da. Okay, now we can get on with the update. So I didn't continue reading last night after I finished filming, just because, like I said, I was exhausted. But, yeah, the other reason was because I had to get up at 5.30 in the morning to get into work early. So, that was fun. That was really fun. As you may recall, I was in the middle of the summer garden here. And pretty much, I was in the same situation. I just, I had to know what was happening. So, at work every chance I could, I would read this book. For example, when I left the store to go and get my food or go to the bank or something like that, I would take my book and read it as I was walking. <laughs> and yeah, I got some funny looks, but I honestly don't care because I needed to know what was happening in this book. But anyway, after I got back from work again today, I went straight into reading this and I finished it and oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh. This book was amazing. There was a lot of feels going on here. There was a lot of feels. So for this book, I read from 641 to 742, so that is 101 pages. Now, yesterday I said that I was hoping to get onto the selection or The Hobbit when I finished this, but after finishing this book, I just needed something with no romance whatsoever. So the selection was out, and I was just like, mm, The Hobbit, there's probably going to be fighting in it, and uh, war. Mm. So that was out as well. And so instead, I picked up The Invention of Hugo Cabre, and I've already finished the entire thing. It was definitely what I was in the mood for reading, and I thought it was beautiful. I loved this so much. It was amazing. I just want to flip back through it and read it now. So yes, how many pages was that? Plus 526 pages. Mm. So I finished The Invention of Hugo Cabre at about 10.30. It's currently 11.30 now. So in the past hour, I picked up The Selection by Kira Cass. I've only really just started it. I'm not very far through it. How many pages is that exactly? 32 plus... 32. But yeah, I'm very interested to see how this goes. I'm going to spend another couple of hours probably reading this one because I don't have to get up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. Thankfully, I get a little bit of a sleep in, which is wonderful. It is wonderful. So yeah, I'll spend a little more time reading this one. I'm hoping to maybe get halfway through this book before I get to sleep tonight. That's my goal. So now what is the magic number here on my calculator, aka the amount of books that I have read today? I have read 659 pages. A lot of those were just illustrations, but they count, okay? They count. They were part of a book that I read. Okay? Yeah. And the total amount of books that I've read, so adding 659 plus 276 I read yesterday, I've read 935 pages in the past 48 hours. Yay! I really like my case. I'm so happy with it. And I was just thinking that if I did manage to finish all five books, I might try and read one of my Kindle books that I have. 
This is just a thought that came into my mind right this moment. But I haven't read a book on here in a little while, so why not choose one of these books? Oh, you know what I could read? The Prince, a selection novella by Kira Cass. So after I finish this, I'm going to read The Prince. And what else am I going to read? If I have the time, I'm going to read Exceptional by Jess Potosa. So I'm adding that to my TBR, guys. I'm adding those two books. I'm getting ahead of myself because I whizzed through this massive book. It makes me feel like I'm invincible. So yeah, I'm officially adding that, so I will pop my Kindle on my stack of books over here. It lo actually looks like a book. Very fitting. So I think that for the rest of day two, which is only like 20 minutes, I'm just going to edit this video. So my official amount of pages read is going to stay at 659. I'm just going to have a little bit of a break from reading since I've been doing that since I got home from work. And yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this update video. Leave me your comments below with how your progress is going for the readathon. I hope you're all doing well. I wish you all the best of luck and I will see you tomorrow, most likely, with another update video. Bye!